Do you want to make a copy of your micro SD card that comes in your handheld device and don't know how to do it on your Mac computer? Well, stay tuned and let me show you. Hello and welcome. My name is Frank and this is 16 bits or higher. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can clone the card that comes installed in your handheld so that you can replace it with a long lasting card. It's a simple process where you only have to use the terminal program on your Mac computer and you type in a few commands and the computer does everything for you. A lot of people struggle trying to copy their cards, but with a Mac computer using the terminal, it is actually really simple and I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a few steps. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the card out of your device. And we're gonna pop it into a memory card reader. And then we're gonna pop the memory card reader into your Mac computer. When you insert the card in your computer, you're going to see two partitions or maybe you see several partitions, but you're going to see them on your desktop and you can actually use the disk utility to see what those partitions look like. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn on the terminal. And you want to run this command so that you're able to see all the partitions that are on your computer. After you run the command and type in your password, you're going to be able to see all the partitions. And the one that you want to use is the one that resembles the micro SD card that you just popped in, which should be disk 2. It could also be this three or four. And then after that, you're gonna run this command. What this is gonna do is that it's gonna unmount the drives. If you don't unmount the drives, it won't be able to help you and it'll show you an error. So you wanna make sure that you do this command first. And as you can see, the drives are being deleted off the side. That's because it's on mounting them. If it gives you an error, you're not going to be able to see this, but right there it says that it was successful. So then you're going to type the next command. And on this one right here, what I want you to do is I want you to try using this, uh, using this one first. This command is going to be a little bit different because what you're gonna do is after you run the uh, output file and the equal sign, you're gonna be that squig you're gonna type in that squiggly dash, and then you're gonna type desktop. And after you type desktop, you're gonna type the name that you wanna give that file. Now, the reason why I want you to try that is because if it works, then you can just type that and you'll be good. But for some reason in my computer, it doesn't work and it gives me an error. Make sure you hit allow on that. And as you can see, I get that error that says no such file or directory. So when that happens, if you use that squiggly dash, then you're going to have to type the whole path to the desktop. Okay. And you're going to see what I type. But on this one here, 
where I type the folder, my main folder name, which is going to be Frank Hernandez, you would have to type the name of your main folder. And this is the full path. So you're going to start with users, then your main folder, and then desktop, and the name you're giving the image file. Also, at the end, you want to make sure that you type status equals progress, because what that will do is it's going to give you uh, the percentage of... Uh, what is being done at the moment if you don't type that it's just going to be blank and you're not going to know if the command is actually working or not so i recommend you do that and as you can see right there the program started and is starting to clone the card onto my desktop but this is going to take a while so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to come back in a few minutes When the process finishes, now all you got to do is just remove the card. You can see right there that it completed with no errors. Now that we finished cloning the card, we go to the next step, which is going to be to insert the new memory card into the memory card reader and insert it into the computer and copy the image to the new card. So let's go do that right now. When you insert the new card into the Mac computer, you're gonna see the drive all the way to the top. It's gonna show it as an untitled drive. And if you use the disk utility tool, you can go and see that it's an empty drive. If you click on untitled, it's gonna be empty. Nothing is being used, it's an empty card. So let's go back to the terminal. Now what you want to do is you want to do the disk utility uh, command again, disk utility list, so that you can see all the drives because you want to make sure that you use the correct drive. And it's going to be the same thing on this one is going to be a disk two also. So that's the disk that I'm going to use. And now don't forget to unmount the drive or else it will not work. You're going to see the little icon disappear at the top. And now we're going to type the next command. And I'm going to do the full path because the squiggly dash didn't work on mine. So on this one, the input file is going to be the file that you put on your desktop, that image that was uh, saved to your desktop. So I'm going to do the full path. And then for the output file, I'm going to use disk2. And again, make sure that when you type this whole thing, you want to make sure you type status equals progress so that you can see uh, live what is being done. Now, this will take a while, so I'm going to pause the video again, and I will see you back in a few minutes. As you can see, it finished creating the uh, it finished creating the SD card and you're gonna see both drives 
right there on the desktop. So now all you gotta do is just close out a terminal and unmount your drives. But first let's go to disk utility so that you can see everything that was done. If you click on the drive itself, you're gonna see that all the partitions were copied. And now you could just unmount them or eject them from the desktop. Eject all, so you can eject both of them and then take them out of your computer and put them in your device and try it out. And you should have a brand new SD card. Now that was very simple, right? Just a few commands on the terminal and you were able to make a copy of your micro SD card to your computer and create an image and then burn it to the new card. I bet you didn't know it was that simple, but now you know how to do it. Um, I know that on Windows, we have programs like Mini Tool Partition, or I think there's another one that's called WinDisk Manager. You know, so on Windows, it's a little bit simpler to create a copy of your micro SD card but on um, on Apple, that has been the easiest way that I have found. And the good thing about the DD command is that it's not only available on uh, Apple Terminal, but you can also use it on Linux because that's how I learned how to use it. I, uh, I'm running a Raspberry Pi on a computer and uh, I was able to do the DD command on the terminal there and that's how I was cloning my cards. But then when I found out that I could use it on the Apple, I figured, hey, the Apple is gonna be easier because it's a, my Mac mini is actually really powerful. And so is my MacBook Pro. So it's actually faster doing it on those two computers than it is than doing it on the Raspberry Pi. So I used, and from now on, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my, my Mac computers to copy my cards. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and I will see you again on the next video. Bye.